The CZ-75 SP-01 is a straight-up duty weapon, not one of these sissy concealed carry wonder nines that have taken over the market. It's all metal, it's big, it's heavy, but man is it a blast to shoot. When I was shooting IDPA, which I plan to pick back up in the near future, you had your Glock 34s, your M&P Pro Series, and then you had your CZs. The difference between the Glock 34 fanboys and the M&P Pro Series Rebels is the sheer enthusiasm most CZ yuppies had for their firearms. After doing this review, I now understand why the yuppies love their beloved CZ SP-01 so much. This gun makes me want to throw a Second Amendment shooting party in California with 17 round magazines. With that being said, let's get on with the review. The main part about the CZ's desirability is the way it handles recoil or better yet, mutes recoil. Because it doesn't exactly absorb recoil like most other guns do. It's almost like someone picked up a remote control and just turned it off. The gun obviously recoils and there is some muzzle flip, but you don't feel anything. I could shoot this thing all day. And not like I can shoot my Glock 19 all day, but like how I can shoot a Ruger 22 all day, except I can load 18 rounds instead of 10. I can't say enough about how impressed I am with this gun's recoil characteristics. Double taps, rapid fire, you name it. Calling this gun controllable is an understatement. It's just easy. Now, before you guys start leaving me comments about how slap happy I was with the trigger in the last shot, let me explain. The CZ trigger is really nice. It's light and smooth and very easy to stage. Having a metal trigger plays a big part in all of this. The only issue I had with the trigger was the reset was a bit longer than I expected, and it's audible but not very tactile. Being used to shooting Glocks, I hadn't quite gotten used to using the trigger at that point. The double action pull is light compared to most other double actions, which feels more like yanking at the hammer of Thor than it does shooting a firearm. I short stroked the trigger a couple of times during rapid fire as I was a little too eager on the gun. But in all, the trigger is really nice, but you have to get used to it. I wasn't very accurate at 7 yards with this gun. Now, before you all start screaming bloody murder, it wasn't the gun, it was me. I couldn't group with this thing as well as I thought I should have. But I will say this, with more time behind the gun, I know for certain it's an easy gun to shoot well with. The ZZ points very naturally and the ergos are really top notch. But I'll get into all that whenever I do the tabletop review of this gun. All in all, though I wasn't happy with the shooting I did with this gun, I know I can learn to shoot it well and in a very short period of time. Because this gun is so fun to shoot and the recoil is pretty much non-existent, you do have a tendency to shoot faster than you probably should. It's really hard to shoot this thing slow. All you want to do is turn your brain off and just keep pulling the trigger until there's no more boom boom. Let's get something straight. Anyone who uses a CZ75 SB01 or any CZ for that matter in a shooting competition is basically a cheater. This thing is simply too easy to shoot. A CZ should only be allowed to compete against other CZs. Don't get me wrong, this is no high speed 1911. But man, is it close. I still can't get over how soft this thing shoots. I can't for the life of me figure out how they managed it, especially considering how retardedly small the slide is. Either way, this gun is fun, 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 fun. The CZ-75 is the perfect range gun. Everyone can enjoy shooting it. It is a very unique design, and I love it even, even with the retarded midget slide. Honestly, I think everyone should have a CZ in their collection. There just isn't a gun like it.